Let's talk about endorsement in Microsoft Fabric. If you ever open the workspace, you see there's this column that states endorsement. And I want to tell you how you can actually endorse items in Fabric, but also what it means, because there are different endorsement labels that can be used and have different meanings. And as always, I'm creating these videos together with Geitzer. Geitzer he has a blog. So if you prefer reading and looking at screenshots and examples like that, make sure you also look at his blog. I will put the link in the description. Endorsement is a way to highlight items in your workspace that are highly reliable, you promote to your coworkers, or they are labeled as the single source of truth. And these labels can be used to show this to your, for example, coworkers or your organization. So you have three endorsement levels. I will show them one by one in the fabric environment. So here we are in my fabric environment. I'm in one of my workspaces and here we see endorsement. This is the column and currently we don't see anything here. So we have these three options, promote, certify and master data. So let's start with promote. This is all about items you think are valuable to share with others in the organization. For example, this is a dashboard that we've worked on and we are using this as a team. We promote it to each other, these kind of things as promoting. If we go to one of my dashboards here and I click on the three dots and I go to settings, I see here at the right about and then also endorsement. And endorsement, I see it for the dashboard only non promoted and certified. And in this case, I want it to be promoted. And I can just click on this, close it. And now we see here the promoted button. Next is certify. Certifying takes it a step further. Like something that's certified, it meets your organization's standards. Let's certify, for example, an event stream. We go to event stream and we go to settings and we go to endorsement and here we see certified. If I click on certified, you can see I certified this at this moment and we see the certified button. Now you can only certify if you have right access, that's important. And also this needs to be enabled by your tenant admin because when I prepared for this video, I wanted to go to settings and then say certified, but this was grayed out. So how can you actually enable this? You go to the admin portal. I'm searching for certified certification. And there you see that you can enable and disable this. So this is something that needs to be enabled or disabled by the admin. If it's disabled, you will see the option, but it's grayed out and you will not be able to click on anything. Going back to my workspace. Now we have a promoted item and a certified item. And then we also have the option for master data. Master data is really the single source of truth. And you also need right permission to do this. And how can you do this? For example, if we have our KQL database and we say this is our single source of truth, we could go to the settings here, endorse, and here we also see the option master data. If we click on this, we see this is labeled as master data. Again, if you don't see that option, your tenant admin needs to enable this. Master data batches can only be applied to items that contain data, such as lake houses and semantic models. And this is really your single source of truth there. In summary, endorsement in Fabric helps your organization and your team to find the data they need and the data that they can trust on. So promotion is for collaboration with each other. Certification is really quality assurance that you're saying this, for example, data set is certified for these kind of analysis. And master data is really your single source of truth. So these are the three different levels that you have. I hope this helps. I will put the link for the official documentation for this in the description. I know it can be a little bit confusing, but I hope these examples also help you.